Erin Broyce. I'm the director of the Energy Smart Homes and Grid Rewards program here at Sustainable Westchester and really happy to bring you along for a tour of how nonprofits and Chamber of Commerce members and small businesses, large businesses can benefit mm. from Grid Rewards. So um, let's see, before we get into that, you may have seen the poster around town or this is the poster that got you to the webinar. Thanks for joining. Just a little bit about Sustainable Westchester before we get right into the presentation. Sustainable Westchester is a nonprofit consortium of Westchester governments, and it's our goal to enable sustainability programming to help ensure a better future for our communities. We have membership from pretty much every single municipality in Westchester County, and that also includes membership from Westchester County itself. So this organization of Sustainable Westchester is able to provide resources to the municipalities, their residents, businesses, nonprofits, houses of worship, you name it. So we are really here to help. And much of our programming is structured around where is the source of carbon emissions coming from? So in New York State, the largest source of carbon emissions is from our buildings, our homes, and the buildings that our businesses and nonprofits occupy. So today you're going to be hearing all about Grid Rewards, Sustainable Westchester's program to help you reduce electricity at key times. I'm just going to show this slide quickly as a hint that Sustainable Westchester has got plenty of other programs too. So if you have questions about energy or sustainability, we are definitely here to help. So without further ado, I want to introduce one of our co-hosts from today, Catherine White. She's the Executive Director of the New Rochelle Chamber of Commerce and she's gonna provide some welcome remarks for us. And a big thank you, Catherine, for helping us to promote the event today. Thank you, Lauren. So we're so happy to be partnering with Sustainable Westchester, who is a Chamber of Commerce member, as well as Nonprofit Westchester in promoting this information. And I'm glad it's going to be recorded so that we can still push that out to those who weren't able to attend. It is a beautiful day. And so a lot of people may have just been sidetracked on other projects, but I think this is important today because our businesses, our not-for-profits, our houses of worship, Everyone's feeling the burden of a high energy cost, but working with Sustainable Westchester, it's going to not only bring environmental benefits, but direct economic benefits to everyone's bottom line and pocketbook, which is really one of the most important things when you think about it. So today you're going to be hearing how Logical Buildings will provide a tool that links from your Con Ed accounts, and it provides real-time information about your energy uses usage about historical account information and a guide to reducing electricity usage, which part of the grid rewards program will bring you cash money dollars back to your pocket. So with that, I would just like to get the program started. Thank you all for coming. And like we said, the recording will be available for everyone to reference later on. Just for some clarity, Sustainable Westchester is promoting grid rewards with its creator, Logical Building. So Sammy, take it away. Fabulous. Hi, all. I assume everyone can see my screen. Um, if not, give a holler. Lovely to be with everyone today. Thank you so much for having me. As Lauren said, I'm Sammy. I'm a senior solutions manager here at Logical Buildings. Really excited to be speaking to folks about Grid Rewards today. So what, what is Grid Rewards? Grid Rewards, it's an app. Uh, you can download your app, connects right to your Con Edison account, um, and up pops information on all of your energy usage down to the hour, um, as well as your projected bill for the billing period, um, and also your carbon footprint. Um, you, you get all that information to help you manage your energy usage throughout the year, but probably the everybody's favorite part about the app is certainly the ability to participate in grid rewards, which are, as, as Rachel started to say, events during the summer when uh, Con Ed is, is sorely needing relief on the grid. Um, if folks are able to reduce their own energy usage in their office, in their homes, in their spaces, um, they can earn money. You can earn money. Um, and that's what the app uh, uh, enables. Just taking a quick step back, I, I also want to provide just a bit of context, talk about where we are today in the energy landscape. Um, so folks might know that Con Ed recently, or is really on the precipice of completing a five-year, $2 billion infrastructure uh, upgrade project. It was the biggest in their history. Um, 
Con Ed went and replaced all electric and all gas meters, every single one in their territory, or let's say 99% in their territory. So that's 4 million electric meters and one and a half million gas meters. They did that because all of the meters previously, as I'm sure it sounds familiar to everybody, would, would, in order to read those meters, Con Ed would need to send out a team of folks each month, excuse me, to read the meter. And that's how they would, they would get everybody billed, right? The new meters that they've, they've installed are smart meters. Those smart meters are communicating back to Con Ed systems every five to 15 minutes, dep depending upon the kind of account, sharing with Con Ed exactly how much you are using and when. That's incredibly valuable for the utility, right? They, it's going to help them bill you much more accurately, and it's also going to help them plan for reliability on the grid, as, as Rachel mentioned. So that's great. We want, we want our electricity and our gas to be reliable. But this, this infrastructure project that Con Edison uh, kind of implemented, it does not only have to be of value to the utility, and that's where, where Grid Rewards comes in. The app enables end users to also reap benefits and value from these new smart meters. Um, so how, how does this work? Um, you sign up, you download Grid Rewards and connect one or more Con Edison accounts to your profile. So if you have your own, your, your new Con Ed um, meter installed, which in all likelihood you do, um, you, you would remote into your Con Ed account via the app. Uh, it takes just a few minutes to kind of make that cyber connection um, and, then, and then you're all set up. Um, Grid Rewards will tell you when the most important times to save electricity is. We'll tell you when that's happening. We'll provide some guidance within the app or the platform on how to do that. Um, and then at the end of the year, we, call it, we like to call ourselves Energy Santa because at the end of the year, you get a check from us or, or PayPal payment, kind of whatever you indicate in the app. Um, I, I want to uh, make sure to break down, break everything down with regard to grid rewards events or demand response. So um, Rachel started talking about it a bit. Demand response or grid rewards, it's a Con Edison program um, where uh, during the summer when it's particularly hot and particularly humid outside, those weather conditions um, kind of create a risk to the reliability of the grid. Con Ed in those situations must ensure the reliability and reduce stress on the utility grid. They have two options. They can ramp up per particularly expensive to operate and particularly polluting and carbon intense power plants, or they can pay end users to reduce their usage to relieve that stress on the grid. And that's actually what's more economical for them and what ends up giving the rate payer, the end user benefits as well. Um, so as the slide mentions, participation is voluntary. Um, it's, and it's really good for the environment. You're reducing your usage, your energy usage, when that electricity is being generated by the most carbon intense fuels uh, at any time during the year. Um, you can earn significant revenue by doing this. Last summer, there were si actually six Grid Rewards events. That's um, actually there were there were there were seven. Uh, one test emergency event and six kind of standard events. Um, that's more events than Con Edison has ever called during one demand response season during one summer. Um, the season runs from May first through September thirtieth. Events are typically four hours long, so you're really we're really talking about you know twenty four to thirty hours of potential reduction out of kind of the entire summer. So certainly this will not be happening every day. So when it does happen, even though it's voluntary, we just ask that folks give their best faith effort to reduce. Um, and of course the app provides guidance on how to do that. And, um, and, and that's the story with demand response. Um, all right. So Lauren asked me to talk a bit about case studies and we've got plenty of them. These are the kinds of buildings that have earned significant grid rewards revenue, everything from large commercial office buildings, 
multifamily to you know smaller community centers, houses of worship and religious institutions, retail locations, kind of you name it, we've uh, uh, that asset class has worked with great rewards and earned significant revenue. Um, one example I love to talk about is we work with um, a co-working co-working space, um, actually located in New York City. And when the events are called, the facilities manager ensures does does a couple things. Um, what's what's most impactful, of course, is the climate control in your space, and that's going to be cooling during the summer. So wherever folks are able, we advise folks and the app tells folks to increase their set points one or two degrees, one, two, three, four, however many, however many you can without completely sweating everybody out. Of course, we recognize that safety and comfort is quite important, but you'd be surprised how much one to two degrees of an increased set point would has an impact on your usage. So at our at our shared office space, the facilities manager um, bumps up the set points on some of the thermostats. Um, they also shut down the printers and put up a sign that says, hey folks, we are participating in an energy reduction event to uh, provide a grid service and to reduce our carbon footprint. Um, they also refrain from using the dishwasher and any unnecessary lights are, are turned off. Um, and, and that's kind of how it's done um, across three different uh, Con Edison accounts that they made $800 last year. Um, so, and this year they added uh, about 10 more accounts. So hopefully, uh, hopefully between the addition of the accounts and the experience of the facilities manager from last year, we, we think the sky's the limit for our, that client. Um, but anyway, those are just a handful of, of recommendations on how to reduce your usage. And um, as I mentioned, the app provides some guidance on some general protocols, and we're always happy to work with uh, specific buildings to with any facilities manager, building operators to talk about what are those building systems that use the most during those times, and how can you either ramp them down or shut them off for an hour or two, whatever will work to increase to optimize what you can your potential for revenue earning, uh, while also keeping everybody comfortable. And Sammy, while you're on the slide. Um, yes. The pictures of the buildings. I know a lot of people on this call are from New Rochelle, so they may notice 175 Huguenot in the yes. upper left hand corner. And that building actually earned like $20,000 from their participation last summer. So we're talking about some significant funds here for your building to participate in demand response. Yes, yes. Um, of course, the, the that building is a 400 plus uh, multifamily, right, with, with, um, uh, major air handling units and RTUs. So obviously, you know, if you if you've got a, a vet, you know, you don't have a massive cooling tower on your roof, but we can work with you to figure out what it what it is that will create those reductions and significant revenues. Right. Twenty thousand dollars sounds like a lot. When for myself in my own apartment in White Plains, I earned about one hundred and seven dollars one summer. So, you know, there is a range in how much that can be earned. Um, and then, uh, these are just some of our, <laughs> excuse me, our, our, uh, strategy, um, uh, marketing here. We, we always say unplug, get paid, flip them off, get paid. Real power is knowing when not to use it. Um, of course, with our photo of a, a, th a thermostat. And with that, I'll say anything that can be automated or remotely controlled, that's what helps when, in regards to reducing your energy the most, right? If you have facilities operators who can control building systems from afar or from their office, rather than kind of trekking out to different thermostats throughout the building, that's always good. Um, but either way, we have plenty of folks doing manual curtailment or literally phys physically turning, flipping switches and um, breakers, et cetera. Um, so it, it, it all works. Yes, okay. So. Um, for enrollment, uh, there is an enrollment deadline coming up at the end of April. What I will say is it, it's hard for us to really decide what word to use because it's not a hard and fast deadline. If you miss the end of April deadline, you can still sign up for good rewards anytime during the year. However, signing up before April, uh, the end of April this year um, kind of ensures that you make um, 
that you can make um, the most uh, per, most of the incentive per KW reduced. Um, if you sign up after that for this year, you'll just make kind of a third that's available. Um, it's, so it's always good to, to, to download and it's always uh, good to sign up at, at any time, but we would encourage folks who are interested to sign up by the end of April this year. Um, and then this is kind of my favorite part of all of this. We, we love to say at Logical Buildings, and it, it's true, um, small change adds up, right? So um, last year, uh, last year when all Grid Awards users, we had over 10,000 Grid Awards users um, sign up. And I, I, I actually am looking at this number. It wasn't 58 megawatts, but it was something like it, it uh, one to two megawatts. That's like, uh, you know, a very significant amount of load to take off of the grid. Um, it's like, it's, it's literally taking the equivalent of 10 to 12,000 homes off of the grid when the grid needs it the most. And when energy generation is most carbon intense, it's just an incredibly, um, impactful action to take. And, um, when you get your community together, doing it together, the impact is, is quite significant. Um, we have some Grid Awards testimonials. Um, Lauren, as folks probably know on the call, um, we have lots of Grid Awards users using Grid Awards in their own homes. Um, so it a, it's a, has been a major educational tool for lots of parents, lots of families. Um, folks get excited just to be able to make this kind of difference and to kind of feel like they're playing a game that the app truly does gamify the experience of saving energy and does provide the guidance you need to kind of know what to do when these events occur. Um, so these, we like to share these testimonials. Um, and that's, that's really what I have prepared for folks today. Um, next steps would be to download the app. What, I, what I'll mention is that it, it doesn't cost anything to download the app. Um, Logical Buildings as the as the maker of the app and as the demand response aggregator, Con Ed demand response aggregator, which means we are a vendor that is uh, qualified and able to aggregate users and enroll them in the demand response program. Um, we take a piece of the revenues earned by each grid rewards user. Um, so uh, we take about 35% and the user gets 65%, the vast majority. It is you folks, after all, making the adjustments in your homes and businesses and spaces to make that reduction. Um, so we would encourage folks to download Grid Rewards and start connecting accounts. We are always around to speak to businesses, um, always around to answer any questions. And if you wanna know more about what we think you can earn or save, always happy to provide that kind of analysis. We'd love to touch base. Um, so you can email us if you have questions or Lauren, um, and we're always happy to connect and help. Great, thanks, Sammy. And we've got some good questions in the chat I think we can dive oh, right into. So oh, good, Carol, good. Carol is writing in from her co-op and she works, you know, there's a management company on the co-op probably handling the electricity bill. So can you describe the process that um, a management company or building would undergo to submit account numbers and get the energy analysis from logical buildings. Yeah, so we do have this, um, we do have this form um, that uh, I or Lauren can can get to you. Um, but uh, the intake will will essentially will ask you for your Con Edison account numbers. And that's all we'll really need to analyze your historical energy usage and estimate potential savings in revenue. Great. And that's something I've seen logical buildings do a lot of. I've been working closely with the municipalities. They're enrolling their fire stations, their libraries, their municipal town halls. So what happens is they get their Con Ed account numbers, send that over to logical buildings. Logical buildings does some number crunching and shows the potential savings that can be achieved by those buildings and then works with you to help them get enrolled. So maybe we should put a link in the chat to the form that yeah, would me... kind of uh, initiate that. Okay. And as you do that, Sammy, Joyce wrote in the chat, she's a homeowner and she wants to get grid rewards. So definitely you can see your earning potential once you download the app, hook it up to your Con Ed account, 
you'll have some great information there to, to figure out your performance and, and how much good you can do. Uh, what else do we have? Catherine has her hand raised. Yeah, so just, I guess to clarify, I guess I've got a little lost in this. So whether you're a homeowner like Joyce or you're handling a, um, uh, you know, managing a co-op, you can either go directly and just do everything yourself online with Grid Rewards, or you can work with, do the short intake form and work with logical buildings to help navigate through the process. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Um, for larger buildings, we we like to um, we like to provide you know uh, uh, an analysis of the potential savings and revenues. Um, so in order to do that, we would need to receive the Con Ed account number. Um, but yes, that is true, Catherine. If you wanted to just to jump right in, you could you could download the app and connect your house account. Um, yeah. Okay, and then just to follow up on that. Um, when someone signs up for the the intake form and the analysis, is the analysis uh, is that a free service? Certainly, it certainly is. Okay. Yep, no cost. Um, this I seem to have access. This intake form actually is leading me to uh, a different intake form, Lauren. I want to make sure that I get the correct one here. Um, so, um, what I'll say. To, yeah, yeah, great. Carol, uh, really, really all we need is uh, the continents and account numbers. That's all we need. Um. Okay, so Carol, if you want, just chat me and say, yes, connect me to Logical Buildings, and I'll put you all on an email to move that forward. And Kevin is writing in in the chat, does it matter whether you're using an ESCO as a supplier? Totally fine. If you have Westchester Power, if you have another ESCO, you can still enroll in Grid Rewards. And that is something to point out like if you are someone that really wants to make sure you're greening your electricity you're choosing to have a green supply sometimes people say oh, if i'm getting green electricity why do i have to participate in demand response in the first place and the reason is complicated but basically boils down to the fact that your green electricity is coming in the form of energy credit later on so on that hot summer day it's two o'clock in the afternoon you're turning your AC on, that energy demand is gonna have the same impact to trigger the turning on of the peaker power plants, no matter what your electricity supply is. So by having a green ESCO and participating in demand response, you're doing double duty as a climate superhero. So that's my long answer to your short question, Kevin. <laughs> All right. We've got one minute left. If there's any other questions out there. Yes, happy. did you see Joyce's question? Uh, she doesn't download apps on her oh, yeah. phone, but could she join on a laptop? Totally. Yes. So there's a, a it, would, it would still be an app, but it would be on her laptop. Is that correct? It would um, be a website. It, she'd get it through her browser. Okay. So Joyce, there's a website. I guess if we can put that in the chat or if we can send that out later. Yes. So Joyce yes. can just go to the website and sign up if she's interested. I will. Put, Sammy, you got it? You got it. I'm on it. Okay. And for me, like I sign into the app on my phone a lot, but sometimes I also sign into my Grid Rewards account on the computer. So definitely there's flexibility with how you want to access your Grid Rewards info. Okay. Look at us. That was a perfect half hour. So thank you so much, everyone, for attending. We really appreciate your interest. We will be in touch. We'll send out the slides and the recording after the presentation. And um, we appreciate you tuning in. And thanks to our speakers and to our co-hosts with the Chamber of Commerce and Nonprofit Westchester. Okay, thank you everyone for attending. Thank you.